uh, the crazy captain is back. And I have a little Lightroom tip that I had to use yesterday. And you know what? As much as I love Pink Floyd, we're going to have to hold you off until after I'm done recording this. Okay, so I ran across this Lightroom tip that I wanted to pass along because it's pretty useful and not everybody knows it. So I just wanted to show you. Um, now, I'm not the kind of photographer that'll go into Photoshop and replace, you know, skies and drop galaxies in and do that kind of stuff. Um, I try to not use Photoshop. So I've tried to devise everything in Lightroom that I need to do my photography. So I'm going to show you one of those tips. Okay. Occasionally, something comes along and you need to make a minor change in a photograph. Not a big one. So, um, for example, when I got to the Golden Gate Bridge this evening, I noticed there were some lights that weren't lit. The first one I noticed when I uh, drove up was this light on the top of the North Tower was out. And actually, so is the one on the South Tower. Hmm. And then when I got up uh, to the uh, top of the hill, I could see over here on the cables, I saw another light that was out over here. So, okay, I'll take the pictures. I can, I know I can fix that. So I'm going to show you how I fix that. This is how to light a light in Photoshop that isn't lit, or let's turn on the lights. What we're going to do is use the spot healing tool in the develop module that's up here, this guy. Normally we blot out dust spots and other imperfections in our work. In fact, I see one right here. Let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, see that little white thing there? We'll just put our little cursor on it, give it a click, click done, and it's gone. Never to be seen again. Now, to use this tool in a slightly different way, it's kind of a backwards way, but it's uh, intuitive and pretty easy to do. So, use the same tool, and I use a, a pretty good amount of feathering, uh, opacity at 100%. And then you set the size of the tool here, oh, you know, just so you get most of the, most of the source in. I have cables in here, and I have to be careful I don't get too big or I'm going to have a cable problem when I, when I get over to where I want it. So there's my size. Now we go over, I didn't click anything yet. I'm gonna go where I want to light the light to make my click. Okay, so the light's kind of like right. Well, it's about there. And then you grab the little circle that pops up and you move it right over that other light. And you have to do stuff to make it match up usually. You know, move it around. Now I'm not getting a good match here. Right? Uh, I'll show you what I mean. See, I'm, I got some cable in there, and that moved over here from here from this spot, and I'm not matching that up too well. So that didn't go real well. Um, the pleasures of live TV. So anyway, you can you can get rid of alert some reminders. Take those Chinese herbs again, Mister. Right. Um, let's delete it and start again. So we'll grab the tool. We will grab the tool. Make sure our size is right. Obviously mine wasn't. Let's go down a bit in size. And then we go over to where we want to light the light. Click the click. Move the deal. And see if it matches up better this time. Okay. Yeah, it matches up a lot better. There. Well. This is not an exact science. Now, we've lit the light over there, and we don't have that cable coming in like we did the first time, you know, that sort of a ghost cable over here, and it didn't work out. So that's the way you can light uh, lights that aren't really turned on at night and make your pictures kind of a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and light the rest of these lights. Um, fast forward to, the finished photo okay so all of my nice lights are lit everywhere on tops of the towers and uh, everything is groovy so that's my lightroom tip for you uh, from captain photo